Good evening, I'm Stuti Shukla. You are watching Krishi Jagran Business. Now, let's take a look at today's top news headline. Global food giant Nestle to invest 5000 crore rupees in India by 2025. Finance Ministry releases 25000 crore rupees for food subsidy to Food Corporation of India. Bahujan Samajwadi Party Supremo Mayawati takes to Twitter to spread awareness on lumpy skin disease. Tata Group to merge its seven metal companies with Tata Steel. Sacco River Agri Technologies launches satellite-based advisory service for farmers. Chief Minister of Shimla Jai Ram Thakur inaugurates milk fed plant. Now the news in detail. Global food and beverage conglomerate Nestle SA plans to invest 5000 crore rupees in India in the next 3 and a half years by 2025. Mark Schneider, CEO of Nestle, said this move will help the company to accelerate its core business in the country and leverage new opportunities for growth. Nestle which currently operates 9 plants across India is looking at new locations to set up manufacturing capacity. With the finance recently releasing more than 25000 crore rupees towards food subsidy expenses, the Food Corporation of India has paid back the short term loan of around 19000 crore rupees availed from the banks. The FCI avails STOs of 90 days duration from scheduled banks to address cash flow mismatches arising from inadequate releases of food subsidy by the finance ministry. With the rising cases of lumpy skin disease throughout the country, the government has taken precautions by starting vaccination drives and taking responsibility for spreading awareness about the disease affecting cattle taking forward his outreach to the lumpy skin diseases now bhujan samajwadi party national president mayawati tweeted and said that the government should pay immediate attention to the farmers welfare she added uttar pradesh sugar cane farmers had huge errors which the government has acknowledged in the legislative assembly as a result The government must take strict measures to secure the payment of these debts while carrying out its obligations in full. In an attempt to consolidate its metal business to drive efficiencies and reduce costs, the Tata Group on Friday announced the merger of seven of its metal companies into Tata Steel. Explaining the rationale behind the merger, King Tata Steel said that the resource of the merge and titis can be pooled to unlock the opportunity for creating shareholder value also mergers will result in the utilization of each other facilities in a more efficient manner second river agri technologies working with the farmers in uttar pradesh has become the first startup in the state to have launched free satellite based advisory service for farmers on mass basis The company successfully completed the pilot project covering nearly 250 villages across the state over the past few months and now weekly reports in a reader friendly infographic format in Hindi are being shared with farmers over WhatsApp. The company which also operates the Krishika Kisan Mart agri input retail chain has so far digitally onboarded more than 30,000 farmers across 1200 villages in the state. Chief Minister Jairam Thakur inaugurated a new milk fed plant constructed at a cost of 16.32 crore rupees in Chhakar in Bala area of Mandi district which would increase its capacity to over 50000 liters. He also inaugurated community health care center in Gagal and primary health center in Rajgarh on the occasion. He said The plant this would process milk in a semi automatic way which would provide a facility for procurement of more milk from the farmers. Federation of Seed Industry of India donated INR 20 lakh to the benefit sharing fund of Food and Agriculture Organizations International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resource for Food and Agriculture showing support for the work of the benefit sharing fund. On this Dr Arvind Kapoor vice chairman of FSII said 
Today we would like to make a donation of INR 20 lakh as an addition to the other financial contributions regularly made by the seed sector globally. However, I would like to highlight that the non-financial contribution of the seed sector towards food security are in no way comparable to this donation. A startup under the Central Institute of Fisheries Technology has developed e-trading platform as part of digitally transforming the fishery supply chain in, in its bid to introduce online auction in Indian fisheries sector. The objective of project developed by Resinue Blue, the startup under the foundation of environmental research and innovation, is to empower and modernize the conventional supply chain and physical auction of fish with digital technologies. Food and Agriculture Organization and Slow Food International have launched a new partnership to help mountain and island communities develop more resilient economics and create conditions that improve the livelihoods of local people. Under our three MOUs, the two organizations will work together to support smallholder farmers, forest dwellers and fish folk living in these fragile ecosystems to safeguard their biodiversity and agrobiodiversity. Traditional farmers and seed conservators of Kerala, Rejvi Joseph from Palakkad, Shaji Kedram from Mananthwadi in Vainad, KBR Kanan from Payanur in Kannur, Satya Narayan Baleri from Kasar Gore, Surya Prakash from Palakkadu and Devaki from Vainad visited Krishi Jagran headquarters in New Delhi and interacted with team members. They shared their experience and inspirational journey and praised the Krishi Jagran in its initiative. They told Krishi Jagran in an exceptional media organization and as it is the voice of us, the voiceless. Now let's take a look at today's and tomorrow's weather forecast. IMD has predicted heavy rainfall, thunderstorm and lightning in several states including Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Delhi for the next few days. Rains continue to lash parts of Delhi leading to water logging and affecting traffic movement in several areas of the national capital. The maximum temperature in the national capital would hover at 32 degrees Celsius, while the minimum temperature is predicted to be 23 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the weather department thunder showers in Delhi tomorrow and maximum at 32 degrees Celsius and minimum at 23 degrees Celsius. Now here is your agriculture general knowledge quiz where you can win discounted coupons of FTB Organic which is Farmer the Brand Organic. Which state became the first state in India to begin organized cultivation of cinnamon, that is Dalchini? Option A, Punjab. Option B, Haryana. Option C, Andhra Pradesh. Option D, Himachal Pradesh. Do let us know your answer on this number, 8800 We will wait for your answers. Till then, stay connected with Krishi Jagram Business. Thank you.